Hello everyone, it's Trish, and today we're going to be making a fun project. We're going to be using uh, some dress it up buttons to enhance our ornament that we're going to make today. And we're going to make this fun snowflake ornament. As you can see, there's snowflakes throughout it, and they twist and turn so you can see them from every angle. And then we're going to use these beautiful uh, snowflake enamel charms also from dress it up buttons. And I have one of those right here. And these are the cute uh, buttons that they have that we're gonna use in this project, the snowflake buttons. You're also gonna need some 18 gauge wire, crimps, some 8-0 seed beads. I have these in white. These are also from Jesse James Beads. And then also a beautiful strand of beads, which is, um, this is a glass strand. Um, I don't think this one has a name particularly, but you will find the designs, Design by Me strands on Jesse James Beads. These are beautiful to work with and they're really budget friendly. And I'm also gonna be using some soft flex because that's what's gonna be underneath our ornament to hold its shape. Um, <clears throat> this color that I'm using is, called, is bone color. So it's just like a cream. So then that way, as it goes through the beads, you won't see it a whole lot. So really pretty color on that. So let's get started, guys. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cut our strand. And we're going to take these two little crystal beads or whatever flat beads that you have. You're going to add a little E6000 to it. I did a little bit on each one already, but I'm going to put a little tiny bit more. Um, you could also use hot glue um, if you be cautioned, if you use super glue because it can um, make your crystals cloudy. So these we're really not going to see the crystals except maybe the backs of them, but I still don't want to mess them up. So I'm just going to apply these snowflake buttons. These are the sew through ones. And I'm just going to apply them to those two beads. Now you're going to need to let this dry for a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but that's the basics of it. Just glue two buttons onto two beads, you know, and these snowflakes are gorgeous. I really like them. They're very classy. My glue is stuck to my finger and I keep, look at that, <laughs> keep pulling it. Anyway, so what we're going to do next, we're going to put our jump ring onto our snowflake here. I just have a large oval jump ring uh, because it's gonna give me um, a little more security on that um, so, uh, soft flex because it's gonna hang like this. So your opening is gonna be on the side. So this will be solid on the top where it's hanging. So it won't be able to slip through the wire as easily. And I'm just gonna open that jump ring up. I'm gonna attach my snowflake. Gotta do a little wiggle in to get her on there, but we get it. Okay, and then we're just going to close these as always front to back. Okay, and so we have that prepared. The next thing we're going to do is start stringing. So these are drying. I'm going to set those up out of the way. So once these have dried, your snowflakes have dried. I had two done ahead of time. Here's our other ones drying. So those are ready to roll. So I'm just going to take a little bit of soft flex out and I'm gonna leave it on the strand and I'm gonna start stringing. The trick to keeping your snowflake straight once we get to that will be to um, put seed beads behind, beside them, eightos. That's why I have these eightos out here because that's gonna secure our little buttons. Now I am gonna get rid of these metal pieces that are in here because I uh, have found that the buttons don't sit as nice next to the metal pieces. So I'm just gonna get those out of there. Okay, and we're gonna start stringing. I'm, I know I'm gonna use these two in the center for my charm, okay? So I put one bead on here and then I'm gonna put on, let me open up my seed beads here. Put on a few seed beads and put on one seed bead. And these are the little ones with the shanks and then one of my buttons right through the shank there and then another seed bead. And then 
we have one of our snowflakes on there. Now, once we get our other bead on, it'll be snug against there and it'll keep it from flipping as much, okay? So the next bead we are gonna use is this beautiful rondeau. We're gonna put that on. Then another snowflake, so that's gonna call for more seed beads. And I just pick them up random. I like how it looks with the different shapes. Okay, and then we're just gonna add this bead. I'm gonna move up just a hair so you guys can see a little better. We're gonna add this gorgeous silver bead and another snowflake. So seed bead, snowflake, seed bead. All right. And then we're gonna add our beautiful pearl you can see we have the, the beads for the other side there at our beautiful pearl. Okay, now that we have that snowflake on, I'm gonna go ahead and string on one of my beads that I have my snowflake glued to. Because I know we're coming to the middle and that's where I want it to be. And then I'm going to add another little snowflake. Hey, you know, might as well Go bigger, or go home, right? So we're gonna add an 8 seed bead again, another snowflake. Then I know I'm getting, to, I'm at my middle. So I'm gonna add, I know I want these in the middle. So I'm gonna take these gorgeous Pave um, crystal beads and then add my snowflake that has the jump ring on it. And then we're gonna work our way up the other side by doing the same pattern. So we're gonna put the silver. And I know we've got to put a seed bead. Oh, did I forget a seed bead there? Let's put that back on there. Let's put it on there. Okay. Because I wanna make sure that it doesn't spin too awful much. So now we're good. And then we'll just put the silver back on and snowflake on jump ring and then silver. So now I know I need to put another shank to snowflake on because I'm gonna follow this pattern the whole way up just like we did here. So I'm gonna put a seed bead, a snowflake, and another seed bead. And as just as easily as you making this into an ornament, you could also make this into a bracelet very easily just by adding a clasp to the end of it. Just make sure that your length is what you need if you're gonna do that, okay? So, we've got kind of a mess going on here. Let me gather those. So now we know we did that. Now it's gonna come our other snowflake bead. Okay, and another snowflake with a shank seed bead so flake seed bead so then we know we're going to go to our pearl and then seed bead oops get that baby on there where did it go buttons right in with my background so let's put another one on here and a little snowflake and a seed bead. So next we're gonna put on this gorgeous bead and so we know silver and then seed bead and button, whoops, and another seed bead. And then our rondelle, seed bead, button, seed bead, and then our final 
speed will go on, just like the other side. So that is our ornament put together there. And see how pretty that is with all the snowflakes on it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my soft flex and I'm gonna cut my project off of the uh, the uh, roll. The reason I keep it on the roll when I do make projects is it seems to me that there's less waste if I do that. So I'm just gonna cut that off and I'm using exactly what I need for my project. And then we're gonna go on to crimping. So I'm, I have a number two tube crimp here. These are my favorite. So we're gonna just use one crimp. Now you could also use a crimp cover over top of this if you decide so. I'm not gonna show you that in this video, but it is an option. So we're gonna take our two strands side by side. We want them to be pretty much even on the ends so it's a little easier to work with that and then we're just going to take our crimp you can see that and we're going to put the two strands of soft flex through the number two tube that's another reason you want to use the number two tube it's because we're going to end up putting three strands through this so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to take one of those strands and i'm going to put it Take the end and put it back through that crimp. It may take a little wiggling. Um, that actually went very smoothly in there. That's why I use the number twos. <clears throat> and then you're just going to pull that down. And then we're just going to adjust our crimp where we want it by pulling the longer strand. And then adjust our loop by pulling the shorter strand. Okay. So that's what we have. I think I'm going to tighten it up just a smidge. Whoops. There we go, do that every time. So now that you have your loop and you have your, your crimp where you want it, you can go ahead and, and take your crimp pliers and just give that a good squeeze so everything is nice and snug in there. And then next what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our cutters and cut off the excess strand. Of soft flex. So I'm going to take my plier and I'm going to press down on that and pull on the strand as I'm cutting just because I want it to be as close as possible to the crimp so you don't see too much of it. This will be a an ornament so you don't have to worry about it really scratching anyone but this is the best way I've found just pull pressure on it pu push pressure with your trimmers and then snap okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to make a very quick um, hanger for our ornament. We're just going to take about 12 inches, and I always take more than I need. And we're just going to warm it up in our hands a little bit. You can use your um, nylon jaw pliers to straighten it if you would like. Push this back. And the first thing we're going to do is take our round those pliers and we're gonna roll the very end of it. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure when you're doing this that your pliers are right on the end. You can see your wire, but it's not poking up through. And we're just gonna give the end just a little loop on it. Okay, just like so. All right. And then we are gonna take our step pliers here, our bell making pliers and you're gonna put your biggest one in there and it's gonna be about maybe a half an inch above your loop there, okay? And you're just gonna bend that around, just like so, around that bell making plier. And then as you can see here, I'm kind of pushing my thumb into this. I wanna shape this a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing on the front. And then you just decide, well, how long do I want my hanger? I think about right there is going to be plenty and I know I need to make another loop so you need to also think about that and allow for that okay so now we have our hanger we're going to take our round nose pliers once again and then you're just going to take your plier the same way it's you're going to be able to see the wire but it's not poking through 
and we're just going to roll that backwards into another loop. Okay. Once you get that loop there, you're going to want to put your pliers back in and just pop that wire back like so, so it's more centered because you want your ornament to be centered. So I just opened up my loop and I'm going to put on my ornament. I'm going to make sure my hook is facing the same way and the right way and my ornament is facing the right way. And then we're just going to close that loop up, make sure that it's nice and snug there against the wire. And that is it guys. That is our beautiful little snowflake ornament. It is a larger piece. You could cut back on this and make it a little shorter if you wanted it to be a little more minimum. But you know, I'm go big or go home. So, so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this project with me today and I'll see you in the next one.